Yeah, I'll, I'll speak about the um, the Sky King thing. When I uh, first saw about it, I was quite fascinated by it, actually, and I listened to um, his sort of monologue, and it really spoke to me on a on a quite a deep level, quite a spiritual level, because he seemed like a guy and who was just trapped in that nine to five grind, somebody who knew that things weren't right, who knew there was a time gone by where things were better. You know, he probably hadn't made it work with a woman. He hadn't had, you know, a family and children. He didn't, he hadn't seemed to, you know, make everything click, but he, but this guy had dreams and he, one day he got up and he said, you know what? My dream wasn't just to watch these planes on the runway. It was just to get up and fly one, and I'm going to do it. Hell, it's time to follow my dreams. And that kind of breaking free, it was kind of almost uh, beautiful that he did what he did with a plane, that he sort of broke free. He soared high in the clouds. It was like it's like a bird that had been caged its whole life in some sort of invisible mental cage that it could never break free from, finally breaking free and having this one glorious flight before everything ended and even though he was coming towards his own death even though he knew he was going to die the sound in his voice was a sound of a free man and he'd almost given up everything he'd given up everything given up the rest of his life for that one moment of true unadulterated freedom and that spoke to me on a very very deep level because people often say to me how does it feel to do what you do to know that you're not socially acceptable, that you'll never have some great high flying career, that you'll go places and some people will look down on you or even want to hurt you for what you do. I say, none of that bothers me because I am free. I am truly free. I be who I want to be every day. And if there are repercussions to that, so be it, but you can't put a price on freedom. And I think he proved more than anyone that you can't put a price on freedom. And some of the things he said showed that he realized that the cage that had been placed around him was placed around him precisely because he was white.